Hi all folks, this is Max from htcevohacks.com um, So if you want to install a uh, good ROM on your Evo 4 GLT that gets really really good battery life uh, my suggestion to you um, is the Viper ROM. Uh, I've had Viper ROM on my Evo 3D and uh, I think Evo 4G also but anyways this ROM is one of the best ROMs if not the best uh, stable ROM if you want to keep uh, most of the sense stock stuff uh, while getting like really great battery life um, definitely try the Viper ROM um, this one also comes with some of the multitasking uh, fixes so it should give you better multitasking over stock um, other than that it's pretty much a very stock like experience uh, but much faster and uh, again very very good battery life um, and there's even a way you can actually um, optimize it. So let me show you that. Um, the core function of Viper ROM ever since the days of Evo 3D has been its battery um, OC daemon that allows you to uh, control the minimum CPU fre frequency, frequency <laughs> and the maximum frequency. Uh, once you install this ROM, you should get this thing called Terminal Emulator. Um, for, if for some reason you don't get it, you can download it off the Play Store for free. Um, so go ahead and um, press on the terminal emulator. And you can put, actually, um, this is actually the shell of your uh, Linux, Linux shell on your um, phone. So type SU to get super user. Oops, do it in lowercase. Uh oh, what happened? It won't let me type in lowercase. There you go. And it'll probably ask you for super user request granite. Um and you can type VC. And this will enter you into a virtual um control here. And we'll we'll zoom in here. So um let me just kind of walk you through. Uh basically basically the most important part is the number one adjust um OC Damon. Um press one and enter. And uh, basically, you can change the awake frequency. Uh, awake is when your phone is on. Um, and also, you can set the uh, sleep frequency, which is when your phone's on sleep. You don't need to put it um, put the frequency that high. So you can set it super low for that. Um, so for, for, uh, for awake, I might not mess with it. Um, you can. Let's go look at what the settings are. So hit one. Um, Current current is 384 megahertz. That's fine. It's just enter enter to um, exit, and let's let's check out the max. Um, it's actually at 1.512, uh, which is the stock free, stock maximum frequency. So don't mess it mess with that unless you have a you can install a overclockable kernel. Then you can uh, raise that. It's kind of like set CPU, but additional uh, settings for sleep frequency, which which allows you to get very very good battery life. So I'm going to do 5 here to get the minimum um, sleep frequency. So it's 384, that's the lowest, that's fine. Um, for maximum, you can set it a lot lower, I think, 486. Actually, it's that's pretty good. You might not even have to mess with it. Um, you can even try for 384. Um, so that's how, that's kind of how you can uh, mess with those, those values. Um, and also, if you hit Enter, you can go to the main menu. Um, let's go check out Viper mod. Um, no, this one's not compatible. That one's not functional yet. Future versions, you should. Um, it should be functional. Um, there's a prop editor. Okay, you can adjust dial the keep if you want to. Um, I wouldn't mess with those things. Um, but I just wanted to show you that that's it's already there. It's actually already set for uh, maximum battery life, so you don't have to mess with it. But if you want to. Um, very easy to do, and uh, other than that, it's pretty fast ROM here. Um, you know the quick settings here, uh, total memory free here. Let me show you used 582. Um, let's let's try killing all and see how many <clears throat> how much free memory we get. So five 519 there. Um, pretty good ROM. I can't really say anything else about it other than uh, if you want to stay stock but uh, better battery life performance this is definitely the uh, best ROM for that and probably one of the best ROMs um, this was also the first 
custom ROM uh, developed for the Evo 4 GLT. Anyway, uh, shout out to Viper Boy on XDA. He's the developer, I think, for this ROM and his team. And everyone who's con contributed. Um, don't forget to donate to those guys. I always have credits link on my blog post um, or on my YouTube video. Uh, check it out and uh, flash it. You will love this ROM. And uh, definitely, if you don't want to flash a bunch of ROMs um, and be a guinea pig, guinea pig like me, um, definitely you can stay with this one. I've had a lot of Evo 3D users who are still on Viper ROM. A lot of, uh, I think Evo 4G users too. Um, but definitely one of the best ROMs you can get. It's going to give you way better battery life than uh, your stock ROM. Uh, I've been getting nearly nearly two days with very light usage. Um, so it's pretty good. And uh, I think that's it. But uh, if you have an Evo 4G LTE, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, htcvohacks.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week for all your Evos. And uh, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you need help with your phone. Um, and also if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here. Subscribe button up here um, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And you can check out more cool videos over at my other channel, High on Android. If you feel like getting high on Android um, every day. Um, I'll probably keep uploading at least a video to my main channel, Zetomax. Um, but high on Android, that's where I'm going to put all my um, other stuff. Because uh, there's way too much content and it might overload some of you and you guys might blow up. Anyway, also we're giving out a Galaxy S3. Um, that's contest over at highonandroid.com or you can Google high on Android Galaxy S3 giveaway. You'll find it very easy to find. Go enter it. Um, and I think that's it. We're out of time. And thanks you guys for supporting my YouTube channels and uh, stay high on Android and don't buy an iPhone.